tama din na yung yung personality na na-develop sa inyo, you endure, which is quite different sa mga young ones ngayon na na mga tinetrain ngayon, no? They thought it's a very nice and easy job na basta gusto ko lang pag foreign service ako, magiging ano na, yun too much in a hurry mm-hmm. na hindi dapat. Dapat kasi kailangan ma-experience muna nila from the scratch i-train sila dahan-dahan tas umikot sa iba-ibang sector ng uh, work no as a diplomat for them to be well-rounded di ba bago sila maging ambassador yung iba kahit wala experience nagiging ambassador tuloy minsan hindi nila naalaala you represent your country di ba the way you talk the way your idea comes out it repre- represent Philippines in you. Kaya dapat talaga yan, ginaguide ang mga younger ones, di ba? So, in your relationship, no, kasi napansin ko ang konsul natin lahat ngayon, no, sa, sa ASEAN country are all very young. Ang gwagwapo at ang gaganda. Natutuwa naman ako kasi sabi ko, wow, iba na ngayon ang mga younger generation. I have seen that in ASEAN country. So, being an ambassador, for so many years consider mga ano na kayo mga professional na at the same time mga career no na experience na experience ano ang ma-share mo sa mga bagong darating na mga na train na future you know uh, diplomats sa ating bansa okay i have noticed a tendency in the uh, younger uh, foreign service officers to be so you know they they think they pass the exam and that's it. Okay. Magaling na nga sila. Nandun na ako, magagaling sila. They wouldn't have passed. And yet, they carry themselves as if, you know, they are the end all and the be all and mm-hmm. kanon. Millennial character. Yes. The thing is, I would like for the junior officers to have more humility. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because if you are not humble, then you are not capable of learning. And there's a wealth of things you can learn in the department mm-hmm. on a variety of subjects. But, you know, it's so, you're so full of yourself that you're not open to anything else. And that is, that is the thing that has to be nurtured, especially in the foreign service. You have to be open to everything. You have to, at the last moment, maybe you'll have to, uh, to, uh, to change your style and, and things like that. But if you are, you know, yung my way is the best way and all that, you hindi not pwede yan. You, you're, you're not going to prosper. So you have to be very flexible yes, very. in your attitude. Yes, you know? very flexible. Mm-hmm. And like I said, you have to be humble. Yes. Hindi madali yan, ha? Eh, well, Lalo with, yeah. when your mind is already set na, yes. na okay lang, pagkatapos ng graduate ko, alam kong gagawin ko, dapat yun ang patutunguhan ko. It's not the way it should yeah. be when you are with the foreign service. No, no? Especially, you know, mm-hmm. I hear of cases where nag away yung mga officers, in away yung, yung mga ganun. I think there's, a, there's something wrong there. Hindi kayo dapat nag away Dapat nag-uusap-usap. Mm-hmm. At dapat nakikinig naman. Sabi mo sa interview natin, you will never, given a chance, you will never change, di ba, your job as a ambassador here, parang napamahal na sa'yo, kahit sabi natin, nasa ASEAN la ang role mo dito. What is there in, you know, that makes you feel na bakit napamahal sobra itong role mo dito? Considering hindi to lucrative post, di ba? Hindi ka sa Tokyo, hindi ka sa Paris, hindi ka, sa mata ito, ASEAN la ito, tas nasa dulo-dulo pa, imagine Myanmar at Laos. So it must be the people of the country itself that attracts you. Um, that's partly it, because like uh, you know, I noticed, uh, I noted earlier, they're some of the nicest people in the world. But it's also because maybe this is one of the few um, uh, least developed countries uh, in in ASEAN, and uh, well, part of what I'm studying is how to help out there, how to help out, um, how to develop our. Um, you know, it's not just bilateral, but on a multilateral basis. Yes. Um, there are a lot of countries helping out uh, Laos in its development efforts. And it's about time that the Philippines also helped out as a fellow ASEAN uh, country. So it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, they're very brave. 
as they are an LDC, so they get a lot of uh, funding for their development efforts, and yet they are determined to graduate from LDC status by 2020. That's um, just a few years away. And uh, by all accounts, they can do it, but they will need a lot of help. So when you mention LDC, no, uh, the fund comes from the ASEAN member also? Or from other from other rich? multilateral UN agencies, ah, there are okay. countries uh, like uh, especially nangunguna ang uh, Germany, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, USAID is also there, so they they they're in on a lot of uh, development uh, programs. So ang role ng Pilipinas siguro na sa manpower, no? Kasi yes, magaling yun ang nakikita ko. Oh, uh, oh. But but I I think that um, you know as 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 both uh, uh, ascending, let me see. Kasi tayo, we are not an LDC anymore. We are yes. a developing country. Yes. Uh -oh. So we, we, we do have a capacity to help out. No? And I think we should begin to assert yung, yung, yung galing natin in other ways no? in order to help out the other countries. Mm -hmm. Pero di ba, Your Excellency, no, Ambassador Ante, kasi ang napansin ko dito, dapat lang talaga tayong mga ASEAN ang magtulungan. Kasi we know and understand one another better. Ang isang napansin ko dito, love for family, tsaka developing nga siya, tsaka kahit anong religious affiliation, kahit ano ang, di ba, ang nakikita natin lahi, Hindus man siya, Buddhist man siya, o, kasi ang ASEAN is diverse, may Muslim din, may Catholic, may Christian. Mm -hmm. Pero at the end of the day, masasabi bumala tayo ay magkakapatid. Magkakapareho din pala tayo because... When you trace the historical background, we will realize mayroon pala tayong roots from one another. Di ba yun ang natitrace mo dito na that's the reason why maganda yung magkaroon tayo ng bonding and unity as an ASEAN? Uh, yes, I, that, that, that is the main reason we came up with ASEAN. And, and I think that is the reason why some of our workers are very well accepted here. We understand each other. Mm -hmm. Despite the, difficult, uh, the differences in, in culture, mm -hmm. the, there are certain things that uh, will always remain the same. For instance, the concept of hiya ah, or the concept okay. of face. Okay. Yon na intindihan natin na hindi may intindihan ng mga European, for mm, instance. Yes. And uh, you know, there are certain things that need not be spelled out. Na intindihan na natin. Okay. Of course, mm. it's very different. There are so many things here that you have to be careful about. Sensitive. Because sensitive. Mm, 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 mm. We, we do not know may nagagalit na pala oh, or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. But nonetheless. It's, we have an easier time of it than, let's say, the, uh, the Westerners. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, I agree. It's about time that uh, we in ASEAN uh, bond together because we understand each other and we are the ones which has a stake in our region. Yes, no? yes. And uh, the, the way I see it, um, uh, Laos is uh, fulfilling its role as a member of ASEAN. Especially last year, you would have been very proud of them. They did a very, very good job. It was not easy being the, uh, the um, host, the host of uh, the, the the chair, the chair of ASEAN, Imagine. and they did very well. Oh. We were all proud of uh, of Laos. Imagine, no, kasi sabi mo nga a while ago, silang yung hindi na papansin. Pero imagine to accept to be the chair, and our president even come here, no, mm -hmm. bago pa lang siya noon, and they did it very well. That is really something. Ito tuloy po namin na amin magandang discussion sa pagbabalik po ng Power Tonight with Elvira.